So that's it, guys. I'm finally done with uh, the stamping. I think it took me 10 minutes, most of 10 minutes to complete it. Uh, I'll explain everything procedure silently because there's too much traffic over here. If you go in, it'll take maximum of 10 to 15 minutes if you have all the documents. So there are two places over here. One is a passport office. I, I think I've already shown you. So this one is the passport office, but that is the visa office. What's up everyone? I finally got my H-1B visa stamped in India and it's a very simple but a very strenuous process and in this video i'm gonna break it down in four steps and let's get to it if you have not watched my h1b interview waiver video you should definitely do that right now because this one is basically a sequel or the second part for this the first and the foremost thing is your travel to india so let's talk about the most important documents that you need don't forget to fill out your air suvidha form so when i went to check in at the seattle airport I, I saw many Indians getting stopped right at that moment because they did not have Air Suvida form. If you have the soft copy of the Air Suvida form, it's totally okay. But in my experience, I've always carried a printout with me because there are few people who do not understand the concept of soft copy itself. So be very prepared for all these things. Next is your H1B document, which is the most important document that you need even for your Dropbox or for your H1B stamping experience. So get your H1B document with you, which is basically I-797 form. The next two forms are very basic, which, which came out as a product of uh, COVID uh, after 2020, which is vaccination proof, either from Moderna or Pfizer anything and the other one is your covid test within 72 hours of your travel all these four documents should be there with you before you travel to india let's talk about the document gathering for your appointment and this list is going to be huge so make sure you start taking notes first and foremost is your original passport you should have your original passport no soft copy is nothing your original passport should be there with you at the time of your appointment next is an i-797 copy it's okay to have a copy a photocopy of it i got the original with me during the appointment but make sure you have the i-797 copy because you get give that document to them. So next is DS-160, which is basically a requirement for your H-1B interview or Dropbox appointment uh, booking and everything. So after you complete your DS-160, there's a confirmation page. So print it out. Obviously the appointment confirmation that you get at the end of the page. And that, that is why I ask you to go through the video that I suggested before, because there I've shown the appointment confirmation page. You need to print that out for your appointment okay two passport photos but weirdest weirdest thing you should have a white background only and this is the reason don't get your passport photos from us or any other places get your passport photo photos maybe right outside the embassy um, a day before or maybe two days before because they are very strict about it two passport photos with white background. This is a very strict rule at embassies. Please don't miss this out. So the recent pay slips or your recent paychecks is something I was prepared and I went with it because a couple of my friends were asked, you know, what what's your recent salary or can you can you please share your recent paychecks? And I didn't want to actually freak out at the embassy. Make sure maybe in the range of two to three months, you get your recent paycheck with you printed out. Now let's talk about the on-site experience that I had and my location was Hyderabad in India. So there are some lockers available for you and probably they charge 500 rupees for that uh, for an hour or so. So I would highly recommend getting uh, your, your relative or your friend with you at that point because right after the point where you get in, you're not allowed to take any pictures, you're not allowed to use your phone or anything. The location at Hyderabad uh, is a little bit confusing and uh, if you're going to to Hyderabad please make sure you share this with your friends as well because there are two places one is for passport and just on the opposite side if you walk straight there's a building right at the corner of that uh, road which is the place of the appointment so once you're inside they'll actually check your DS-160 confirmation right at the door uh, and as you can see in this drawing that I have your DS-160 and your appointment confirmation is checked you'll be given a token and you'll be basically standing in a line with other people. 
and when your uh, number comes up you have to go to the counter basically they'll ask you questions you know like where are you from and can you please give me your ds160 can you please give me give me these documents and then at the end he'll just stamp uh, on that uh, document saying that this has been uh, verified and they'll take your documents and uh, you'll you'll just come out it's probably a 15 to 20 minute process now let's talk about what happened after dropbox because for me it was very tiring it was very i was very anxious if you want to track your status you can actually do that and i'll link it in the description so this whole process takes about 10 to 11 calendar days the status on the website uh, goes through a couple of different things and for me since it was approved um, it went through three to four different steps and i'll explain what the first step is it's application received that will take probably like three to four days and after that they'll say um, administrative processing and that took them probably three to four days as well but after four days uh, it said issued and that was when i was finally relieved of all the stress after it is issued it will probably take two less than two days for your passport to come to that blue dot location or maybe the same day you can go and pick it up um if they say that your passport is ready for pickup so guys just today i got a call that the passport is ready for the pickup so i'm going for the pickup right now so the first thing you have to make sure for uh, your passport pickup at any blue dot location uh, is to make sure that you get your uh, IDs there. So your Aadhaar card or your PAN card, anything, you get a photocopy over there. And I just did that over here and then let's go now. Okay, one last and important thing before coming to US, um, US has a rule that you need your uh, COVID test to happen within one calendar day of your travel. So that was the rule probably in March, April uh, timeline. Uh, that was very strict and the officials actually check for 24 hours or one calendar day. So please make sure you get your COVID tests done just to be prepared for this case because you don't want to miss your flight back to us even if you got your h1b stamped right so see you guys in the next one i hope you like this video uh, please share it with everyone who has been through dropbox experience because i want to learn what you guys experienced and uh, i'll be happy to help you out if you have any other questions